I thought the food was going to be very Mexican. <laughs> I, uh, South America, I just was very naive and just thought that all the food would just be very like spicy or just like tacos and burritos. Um, but we had a lot of just soups or just they would love to grill meats and stuff. And um, they had excellent breads. They had cheese bread, which is called chipa. Um, and they had lots of different kinds of foods that were just kind of funny at first, but you just grow to love it. You know, you just, by the end, you just, you just, it's just Paraguay, you know. So uh, in Paraguay, their main dishes are usually just like a guiso, which is just like a soup with like chicken and noodles or rice. Um, my favorite thing um, is chipa. Um, and chipa is just like a cheese bread. So it's like a bread, but then there's like, it's just made with cheese and it's just really soft and moist and it's really really good um they also have sopa paraguaya which would translate to paraguayan soup um, and apparently that was it was made a long long time ago by a king's um like servant and she made it wrong and she accidentally made it into like a cornbread so it's like it's like a cornbread with like onions and lots of spices and cheese and stuff. And it's pretty good. Um, I like that. They love, I can't remember what it's called, but they love cold white rice with mayonnaise and tomatoes, which I hated, which I absolutely hated, but every Paraguayan will feed it to you um, and you'll eat it and it's great. Um, but I did not, I did not love that, but that's very, very popular in Paraguay. Um, they have, I was very, actually I was pretty sad because they didn't have a lot of gummy candy, um, but they love chocolate. So you know, if you're a chocolate lover, you'll, you'll have plenty of chocolate, you'll have plenty of cookies. Um, you'll go into like little, they call this, they're called dispensas. Um, it's just like a little teeny market or like a little shop, like in someone's front door pretty much. And you can walk in and get cookies and um, like fruit and all sorts of different things. Um, so I remember eating a lot of cookies and stuff. Um, and then probably their claim to fame would be their barbecue. They just love barbecue and just big old steaks and um, sausages and stuff. So that was really good. That You get those on like a special occasion, like a birthday or um, on Christmas or certain days like that. So that was a lot of fun. Peruvian food is so great. It's delicious. You just gotta uh, watch out a little, a little bit on the like the street food. The street food is mostly empanadas. When you know what an empanada is, it's like a kind of like a hot pocket, I guess you could say. The most common flavors are ham and cheese, meat, or chicken. Um, there's also they call something like Paraguayan soup. They would call it, but it's not soup at all. It's like a cornbread. Both onions and cheese, super good too. A lot of cornmeal based foods. They love pastas. A lot of our, uh, mostly what you would think of Argentina food would also be Paraguayan food for the most part. Um, they love a lot of meat, tons and tons of meat. Many people say that Paraguayan meat is one of the best in South America and so they just stock up on the meat. It's pretty cheap, it's super delicious, I would, it's super delicious meat. They would make a lot of milanesa, which is like a thin steak, breaded and fried, it's super delicious. They'd make a lot of um, goulashes uh, with meat or chicken. Not a lot of vegetable education, not a ton of people that love vegetables. Um, they have like three or four common vegetables that are seen in like almost in every meal, carrots, tomatoes, onions, and green pepper and they basically use that in every one of their meals. Uh, a lot of people love to make salads though. Bean salad, um, beet salad with potatoes. Um, tons and tons of great stuff. Not, it's not spicy at all, it's pretty bland. But I loved it a lot. I, I, I know how to make some great food from Paraguay. I love how a ton of people, for drinks, I would have to say they, they love to make natural juices out of anything. I once tried one from like a cantaloupe and they would just throw cantaloupe in the blender and just make juice out of it. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> it's good stuff. So in Paraguay, there are two main sources of food that everybody lives off of. All the way from the richest of the rich to the poorest of the poor. Um, and that is beef and something called mandioca. Now beef obviously is from the cow. It's you know, meat, they love their meat. 
But mandioca is from the ground, and it's a root of this plant. And what they'll do is they'll just pull it out of the ground, cut off the plant, and boil the root. And they'll just eat the root plain, they'll eat it fried with salt or, you know, as a salad or anything, but beef and mandioca are the two staple foods. Um, you'll have them probably every single meal um, of the day except for breakfast, or at least with the members you will. Um, so you always gotta, gotta be prepared for that. You probably won't like it at the beginning, but by the end of the two years you'll learn to like it. Okay. So there are a couple Paraguayan original dishes. There's mandioca shududu, which is just the mandioca um, boiled, then chopped up, then it's fried, and then it's put in like a salad, kind of like a potato salad. Uh, it's called mandioca shududu. They have sopa paraguaya, which is actually a bread, even though sopa in Spanish means soup. It's like a cornbread with cheese and, and oils and a lot of flavorings, beef. <laughs> Um, that they'll eat and serve. That's probably the one of the most popular Paraguayan foods. Um, they have something that they call tallerin. You'll probably have it every meal with the members, which is a a pasta with meat in it, with beef. And it's just pasta with beef. And it's probably the number one eaten food as a whole in Paraguay. There are empanadas. Yeah, I never knew what an empanada was before I went to Paraguay, but after I left, I definitely knew what an empanada was. And it's just uh, a ring filled with beef and other, you know, vegetables, flavoring, seasonings, um, fried in oil. And you just take it out and eat it almost like it is a, a hot pocket, but with whatever you want to put inside of it. And you can buy them off the streets, you can take them from the members, you can basically do whatever you want with them. It's kind of like the Big Mac at McDonald's, just go for a dollar and get as many as you want. There's Tete Day. Everyone knows about the Tete Day and Mate over there in South America. And Paraguayans love their Tete Day. They'll sit outside their houses in groups and drink Tete Day out of uh, something called a guampa, which is just a, a cup made of wood that they fill with um, grasses and other um, herbs. And they'll put water in it and just drink it out of a special straw. And they'll pass it around and it's their way of socializing and just meeting people and uh, passing the time.